Nothing's happening anywhere. You know how it is, pal. Things dry up in the summer. What are you talking about? It's not even May. These would be fun to make. That's great. You know, I haven't booked anything in like six months. I'll play a guy, that, I'll, I'll play a fucking, like a giant lottery ball ahead for $200. I don't give a shit anymore. I really you would? don't. No. Not unless I can cut a mouthpiece so I can stick in a gas pipe. <laughs> could drive for Uber. Why do I need an agent to drive for Uber? Hey, pal, you called me. All right, relax. I'm sorry, that probably came out more hostile than I intended. Mea culpa. I, I had kind of a relapse recently, and I just keep, I keep punching myself in the face over it. That sucks. A hard like, take that, Chuck, you pervert piece of shit, and bam, and bam. You want some more? Someone call mommy before I break this guy's fucking jaw. Yeah, you seem upset. It's a major setback to my recovery. I'm not allowed to self-pleasure. Now, 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 you know what? Now, let's, I don't want to hear the self-pleasure stuff. I gotta stop watching The Crown. Is that the show about Queen Elizabeth? That's too close to my arousal template. Your... Uh, triggers the... Uh, stuff that stimulates me sexually. <laughs> Queen stimulate you. Crowns. Oh, crowns. Oh, well, you know, maybe you should... You know, probably shouldn't play chess. Or checkers. Avoid certain kinds of dental work. Fuck, yes, thank you. You're welcome. So, auditions, nothing? What about your YouTube channel? You ever monetize that? No, and could you please stop offering alternative income strategies? I want to act. You know, I mean, I am acting, you know, I'm, I'm doing the Shakespeare classes, and that's, you know, fun, and that's... What? There's a lot of crowns in Shakespeare. today and I'm so not prepared. Oh, and I paid my student loan, but our bank account's really low and we still had the phone bill this month. Babe, so. babe, can I please get coffee before you tell me how broke we are? I just don't know if we have enough to... Babe, please? All right, I love you. Have fun in class. Wish I could go day tripping to New York. I get on the bus, I get off the bus, then I get back on the bus, and then I get off the bus. Kidding. Oh, uh, don't forget the dishes. I definitely will not. Yorick skull. This is Yorick's. Here's a skull now. Now, this skull has laid in the ground for three and twenty years. Whose was it? <laughs> a whore son's mad fellow it was. Hmm. Whose do you think it was? Nay, I know not. A pestilence on him for a mad rogue. They poured a flagon of Rhenish on my head once. This same skull is Yorick's skull. The king's And then jester. Lauren says some words. And then Adam says some words. And then the audience says, oh wait. They say nothing, because they've gone home, because that performance sucked. Really? Because I felt- No, totally. Epic fail. Fuck us. Adam? Yo. By any chance, did you leave your comedic skills on the bus from Baltimore today? No, why? You're playing first clown. So come on, Mr. Funny Man. Release the ha-has, hmm? All right, honestly, acting. Okay, first of all, nothing this character says is that. Plus, he's been digging holes for dead bodies for like 30 years. That's pretty fucking depressing. Are you questioning the Bard's humor? Yes, I am. Did you want to know something? Shakespeare's not funny. 
I mean, people think he's funny because, well, you know, it's, Shakespeare wrote it, so it must be funny. It's not funny. But, dude, if your character's depressing and then I give the Alas Poor York speech, it's not going to... All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, all right, fine. I, I'll just be jolly guy playing with phones. Adam, might I see you for a moment, please? The Bard is funny. Funny is the Bard. The Bard is funny. Funny is the Bard. The Bard is funny. Funny and is the Bard. Stop. Oh, God, thank God. Consider that your academy exercises for the day. When we offered you a place here at Capsa, your enthusiasm for the work was illimitable. And now, here it is. What? Less than a year later, and we find you moping about like a cheeky child? Oh, I'm sorry, Madam Pemble. I have so many pressures. I have money problems. I know we all have money problems. I got a wife who's losing patience, you know? I, I told her I would be a working New York actor in a year which is ridiculous, and it's been two, and I, I can tell she's starting- Pick a card. Any card. Wait, the card Any now? card. Okay. I'll go with this one. And don't tell me what it is. Okay. And put it back in the pack anywhere you like. And now I will shuffle the pack. Is this your card? No. Of course not. Because I am not a magician. I don't have any tricks to improve your financial situation or your attitude towards the work. In September, my academy will be hosting a showcase for artistic directors, agents, and industry execs. An opportunity for the students of my choosing to showcase their talents in front of some very important decision makers. Wow. You may or may not be part of that showcase. That will be up to you. Yeah, you're definitely a Kellner. You got a good thing and uh, you find a way to fuck it up. That's what we do. Mitch had you figured for the robbery, so he had you tailed back to Boston. Tailed, huh? I like the sound of that. Can you believe this shit? Only Patty would be late to her own screening. You okay with that, you two again? Oh, you'd be surprised by what you're doing. Don't say a word. Hey, they're honoring you, not me. Playing Chloe, huh? Modesty doesn't suit you. One could say the same about your pants. What's wrong? Well, it's just modern lemon. Old habits. You and me and our hot tail. We'll fucking kill you. Easy cupcake. You should see my frosting. This really doesn't hold up. Not to mention my creamy. Actually, right now, I'm kind of proud to be your daughter. I'll have to tell you something. Sorry, Tootsie Wootsie. Hypoglycemia runs in the family. My bullets are sugar free. Everyone is president of the Mobtown Film Society. It's my sincere pleasure to introduce tonight's honoree, one of the stars of this late 90s neo-noir cult classic. She played everyone's favorite doll face vixen, Petunia. Baltimore's shining treasure, Petra Antonelli. Hi, thank you. I am honored to be here, and yes, I am a treasure. In fact, Tracy just dug me out of a mound of dirt in Federal Hill last Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Puisque le fils du roi m'aime avec mes sabots dans des noms, avec mes sabots, puisque le 
with all the respect in the world, Dr. Garrity, all of it. Three formal assessments in two days? Not happening. Abby, rabbit pulling is what you do. <laughs> yeah, like I even have a hat. I mean, uh, honestly, the inclusion criteria here is a hothouse mess, and, and, and the participants selected barely... Well, I haven't even... really seen any issues with any of this. Meet Clinton, who thinks the therapy room is a free-range pissing yard. Or, uh, Miss Denise Eddings, who is 1,000% positive her daughter's autism is, in fact, curable with just two heaping tablespoons of cilantro administered twice a day. All right, there's always room for error analysis. You're undoubtedly aware of that, Abby. Look, this team has done- Team. <laughs> you and your team, you only need to get your shit together. Okay, Abby, I need you to please just dial back your tone just a little bit. Okay, fine. Okay, but don't punish me for pointing out- Are you preparing to vomit on me? Give me a- I'll be back. She was gonna vomit on me. <coughs> Get off my get off my leg. Go get your toy. My name is Petra. Hi, Petra. And I'm an Alki actress. <laughs> or maybe I'm an actress researching a role where my character happens to have a really darling drinking problem. I don't know, it feels that way sometimes. But hey, whatever keeps you coming back, right? I want a goddamn drink so badly. So badly. Vodka. Cold. Ice sweat on the glass. Oh, not a glass. A tumbler. Lemon peel. Someplace swank, low lit. But all we've got is this shitty coffee. So, la poverina. I don't know. But I'm fine. I'm not going to drink today. But tomorrow and tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> we met. Do you always speak in the past tense? Yes, I did. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> no clue, huh? Random handsome man I foolishly slept with. <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, we met at the closing night party for Breakland. And the opening night, too? Adam's friend. Craig. Weren't you, like, drinking a lot of wine? I still am. I just, I come to these meetings for the donuts and desperation. <laughs> a big fan of the coca plant, you know, 90s and mm -hmm. all that, but, uh, you know, a meeting's a meeting. Well, I think I'm gonna go bury my liquor pangs in some foe. You interested? How charming would it be if I could answer that question in Vietnamese? Scary charming. Not a baby. Not a baby. Not a baby. Not a baby. I took a pregnancy test. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pre pregnancy test, what? Yeah, uh, no period this month yet, which was weird. And then I remembered you and I, fun times on the kitchen counter. And then I felt nauseous all day. Are you nauseous now? No. You look pretty. Thank you. Uh, I, I, the test was negative, um, and, but, it, but it made me sad. And I don't know why, because why would I be sad, right? I mean, I, I don't want kids. I've never wanted kids, ever. But then, but for a minute, I thought that we might be. It tore my heart a little. <sighs> Babe, I love you. I just quoted a stick song. You did. You know, I, I don't think kids are happening. I, I just, I just don't. I mean, come on. I'm, 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 I got like two old man sperm left. I got like Morty and Irving, and and they would, they would probably drop dead halfway to the yeah, egg. You yeah. know. Well, Ethel and Margaret Overy had bigger problems. Uh, fair point. I'm not saying we should try to have a baby right now. I don't know what I'm saying. I really don't. It, it just threw me, you know? Well, I mean, what if the 
test had been positive. I'm a dead man. Sorry. Yeah, that was a little unnecessary. Mothering urges all of a sudden? You know, uh, yeah, I, okay, I, I guess in an alternate universe, it'd, it'd be nice to... But in this one? Huh. I start weighing the pros and cons of parenthood. Uh, I got enough cons to, to fill a fucking mammoth movie. You know, how do I, uh... How do I, how, how do I go to New York? How do I, how do I go on auditions? Uh, I'm selfish. Where do I get that from? Uh, you know, I, yeah. It'd be great to have a little Abby crawling across the floor, I guess. I don't know what the fuck, I don't know. Here's a skull now. This skull has lain in the ground for three and twenty years. Yeah, I gotta tell you, the guy's, uh, he's right. You're not being comedic enough. A horse on mad fellows it was. Whose do you think it was? A pestilence on him for a mad rogue. He poured a flag and a reddish on my head once. <laughs> 